Halo Infinite has been delayed until summer 2022. Why is it? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So yes, you heard me right at the beginning of this intro. Sadly, Halo Infinite has been delayed until summer of 2022. This comes to a shock to me as well as we pretty much thought for sure that holiday 2021 was going to be the release date, but you know what? It's such a large game. It's such a complicated situation right now in the world. It's totally understandable. But what was it that 343 actually said about this delay? Well, they actually, the Twitter itself at 343 Industries put this out saying, today I want to share an important Halo Infinite development update with the community. Building upon community feedback and after extensive consultation with our talented and passionate dev team, we have made the difficult decision to delay Halo Infinite until summer 2022. This is not a decision we take lightly, but simply put, the ongoing effects of COVID and global recession have made releasing the game this year an unattainable position. Attempting to push forward to release this year would simply harm the well-being of our dev team and deliver an inferior finished product to the passionate and devoted fans of the Halo franchise. We understand this will be disappointing news to many of you, and we share that same sentiment. Halo Infinite has come such a long way built upon the feedback and the pure passion of our community, and we remain 100% committed to creating a truly special Halo experience. We will have more details to share in the coming months, but rest assured, all of us here at 343 remain committed to the open and transparent dialogue with the community in building this game. Halo Infinite is your game, your experience, and we promise to make it the best it possibly can be. See you in 2022, Spartans. Chris Lee, studio head of Halo Infinite. This really hits the entire Halo community and honestly gaming community as a whole out of nowhere. It's just a complete surprise. I thought everything was on track. It really had its COVID delay. And it seemed like things were so promising with the game itself. I and mean, we've seen some great screenshots as well. And knowing about like the audio update that we recently had, the sandbox update that we recently had as well. It sounded like things were kind of just like reassessed, being put back together and being something that's actually truly awesome. But game development is messy with a team so so large creating Halo Infinite under the umbrella of Microsoft. There are so many points of view and different teams that need to work with to make this game work out properly. And for what we saw from the gameplay demo of 2020, it certainly needed a lot of work with the pop in textures and grass and geometry and things like that. The lighting didn't really look that great as well. The emotionless brutes that were in the game, I mean, it birthed Craig. Um, the trailer became more of a meme than a showcase of something awesome. Even Kotaku tweeted out their article talking about the delay of Halo Infinite as well. I think a lot of this has come back from the feedback that we've had recently about Halo Infinite 1 being the armor coding system and isn't exactly being well received by the fans, even though we haven't seen everything yet. So I think we're kind of a little early on that. But overall, it's been a rather negative experience, so that could probably add some delay time to it. Uh, no dual wielding we know about it which a lot of fans really want the dual wielding a lot of fans also want playable elites which will not be in halo infinite adding all these things and changing these up in the within the last year of halo infinite's development will incredibly increase the development time as we do know that halo infinite is setting itself up being the most customizable halo experience we've ever had 343 has stated that if you enjoy halo reaches customization will prepare yourself pretty much because Halo Infinite is looking to have an insane amount of customization. If you're going to bring elites in with that, you kind of need to have an equal amount of customization. So that would add a lot more dev time to create all the models, all the texturing, all the different armor coatings as well, even if they're still doing that. Like I said earlier, this update really just kind of came out of left field. We didn't really expect this. We got, thought things were kind of on track, but you know, fans really want everything within Halo Infinite. And so it makes sense to have this delayed because a lot of backlash from the community about some of the things are not going to be in the game, like the classic shotgun, the classic magnum, and all the previous features that we mentioned as well, does create a more dev time for them to put these assets into the game. So, sadly enough, it's looked like we have to wait a whole nother year at this point now for Halo Infinite to come out. So what can we do as Halo fans? Are we willing to wait until summer of 2022? I think what we could do is probably be a little more active and say like, hey, no, we're okay without these pieces of content within Halo Infinite. 
because we want to play this game so badly. You know, there's another thing about the environments, talking about how they did much more focus on like the Pacific Northwest style of environments. Most likely mean there won't be like any desert or any kind of huge variation besides like interior forerunner structures, uh, woodland kind of areas, maybe some maybe some snowy areas. But all we've really seen is just kind of like woodland mountain kind of areas. And so maybe they want to add in some more kind of environments and biomes within Theta Halo with creating new biomes and you definitely need to create new audio pieces as well. So there's just like a lot of extra work goes into it, but this is what the fans wanted and 343 wants to deliver on that. So this completely makes sense. Another Halo YouTuber, Sean W, which we featured on the channel, did make a video pointing out these little birds within the gameplay demo saying that these look like MOAs. And so, you know, he put up a video talking about how MOAs would be a great addition for Halo Infinite, but Unishek actually replied to his tweet saying that they are not MOAs because MOAs are native to Reach. So that means that MOAs will not be in Halo Infinite as well. Again, more time, more development, more time to create these AIs to make it so that MOAs can be in the game as well. They could possibly, I know that originally they had the idea of it being able to ride a MOA as well, which obviously is a very tricky kind of thing to pull off with the whole new gameplay feature. Because some people in the community were quite upset about not having wildlife being more interactive with the world. They're not going to be threatening, at least we know for right now. And they don't really sound that interactive and just kind of more set pieces. Why not make a writable MOA to put into your game to make it more immersive and something you can add in to give players more options of how to play Halo Infinite. That's kind of the idea of Halo Infinite, right? To give player choice at the forefront of the game will give us the choice to ride MOAs. The rest of 343 has been rather silent on this development update. They just kind of threw out this tweet and that was about it. As soon as we know more information, I guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel. So if you've missed any content from me recently or battle loot for Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here if you missed any content from me recently. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out. Okay. Hit this one. Oh, you're still here. Oh, I probably should say that. That was all April Fools. The game is still releasing in 2021. That was a complete fake. Uh, at 343 Industries is a fake Twitter. That's not real at all. It's actually at Halo is the one you want to keep a note of. So happy April Fools, everybody. Fun thing we can do now, if you go in the comment section and see anybody who already left a comment saying that I can't believe they delayed the game or hey, it's already a fake proven, then you know they didn't watch the entire video so you can get back at them with that. So thank you for watching. Have some fun. Happy April Fools and uh, check your sources. Because Kotaku actually did write an article saying the game was delayed until 2022. They didn't check their sources. They just made an article and then they realized that they were caught because it was all fake in April Fools. So like I said, check your sources. We'll catch you in the next one with some actual news. Out.